So today is Record Store Day here in Melbourne. I'm out the front of Greville Street Records. We're first in line. <laughs> it is uh, about 5.15 a.m. Uh, I came here because there is a Ramones box set. There is only one that I can see through the door, one Ramones box set. So that's, today's my day. Today is my day. I'm getting the Ramones box set as I planned. And uh, yeah, it should be a good day. So stay tuned and I will show you all my wares that I buy uh, along the way. Looking through the door, I can see the remote box set is there waiting for me. One record store done, we did Greville Street in Prague and now we're here at Heartland Records in Melbourne uh, to see what secondhand stuff we can find. He always has a great range of secondhand stuff here. Some of the best uh, secondhand stuff you'll ever find in this city of Melbourne. So let's go in and have a look. So I just left Heartland Records and I left empty handed and I feel bad about it, but it's not that I didn't see anything I wanted. There's actually about 20 records there I want, but due to the fact that I've pretty much used up all my money from uh, from today's records today, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go without. But 
the stuff that I did want, I think will be there the next time I come back because they didn't have any limited RSD releases, so I should be okay. But I'm gonna come back and get some more stuff eventually. Good times. Hey, so we are back home from a big day of Record Store Day. I'm gonna go through the purchases that I got today. Uh, first of all, I got these from Greville Street Records in uh, Prime. And I was pretty stoked because these were in the window. So these were not Record Store Day releases, but these were used records. Was the one decline of the Reptile 7 inch that I did not have. It's on Waterfront, which is why I bought it because I'm collecting every Waterfront Records release which is great because it also had two hard-on singles. Uh, I didn't have this waterfront. I've got this record, but with the blue, this is with the red or orange. So I had to grab it and it's a hard-on. It's my favorite Australian band anyway. Also on waterfront. And this version of Girl on the Sweater, which is a different colored variant cover to what I actually have. And it's another waterfront release. So I grabbed those, uh, which is awesome. I also picked up from Greville, which I must say, awesome store, first in line, very happy with that, uh, because I wasn't sure how many copies I actually had of, you know, the items that I wanted. So I got the replacements record. Now, the replacements record, they only have one copy of, I believe, uh, because they said that when I said that I wanted it. And uh, so there it is, the, re the replacements record, it's a double LP. Um, I've not heard this concert before, so I'm really looking forward to hearing this one. It's a really old show from 1981. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this. I uh, love the replacements. Who doesn't? I picked up this, which I wasn't... It wasn't on my want list to begin with, but it ended up on it because uh, it's a Rocky, Rocky Erickson's live Halloween 2007, but it has a DVD of a show from Norway. So I was pretty damn excited about that. And the track listing is awesome. I saw Rocky Erickson live when he came to Melbourne. And it was an interesting show. Uh, he's still got the great voice, that, that scream that he's known for from the 13th Floor Elevators. So I love his solo work. Uh, I don't know what this sounds like. I've never heard any tracks from this era of the band. So looking forward to it and to watch the DVD. So that'll probably be tonight's viewing. I got this, which is awesome, which is Over the Edge by Wipers. Not only did I not even have any copy of Over the Edge by the Wipers, uh, but this is a double anniversary edition that's got uh, is it a live album, I think. It, uh, no, bonus, double LP featuring a bonus side of Rare Mixes, Outtakes and more from the session. So I'm looking forward to this because I've actually never heard this Wipers record before. I don't know why because it came out so long ago. But it was one that I've never had. So, uh, you know, the guys at Jackpot Records released this. It looks awesome. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this one today. Also, this was definitely on my want list because I love this series. And it is the Soul Jazz Records uh, uh, Punk 45. This is on Rare UK Singles. Uh, I love these compilations. I've got a bunch of them. And, I mean, these singles, they're ridiculously priced if you can find them. So comps like this make it easier for us to have these on vinyl. This one also comes with a bonus 45 of the Stormtrooper 7-inch, which is pretty damn exciting. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting stuck into these as well. So awesome. And the creme de la... Oh, yeah, I picked up this as well, but I got this from a different store. I found this in Goldmine. It is the first 10 years Iron Maiden, Flight of Icarus, and the Trooper. Uh, I didn't actually have this one, so I saw it there. It was a good price, so I grabbed it because, uh, you know, who doesn't love Iron Maiden? And the Trooper artwork is probably some of my favourite Iron Maiden artwork of all time. So, awesome. I uh, also picked up this Surfboard 7-inch released on Hosette Records. It's not a record today. It's a repress on, on blue vinyl. But I didn't have it, and uh, I really like this band. So, awesome. So the creme de la creme, the reason that I went to Greville Street was because they were the only store that I saw that had the Ramones box set. I actually have all six of the studio albums um, in here, but I don't have them in a numbered box, but I also didn't have the Rarities LP, even though I'm pretty sure I've got these Rarities on 7 inches and 12 inches and whatever. Regardless, I'm stoked to have this. Mine is numbered 11850. Um, there's, what, how many? 14,000 copies of this. Hopefully you can still find it. And for all those who are venturing out on a record store day, I hope you get a copy of this. 
you know, I was up at 5 a.m. this morning, so no, 4 a.m. this morning, got to the record store at like 5.30 or something like that. Something stupid, stupid o'clock. But anyway, let's go through the box set itself because it is, it's lovely. It looks really, really good. You know, besides the, the rarities LP, you know, we've got obviously Pleasant Dreams, a fantastic record. A lot of people don't rate these 80s Ramones records, but I think they're all wrong because I think this these era of the band is amazing. A lot of people don't like this record, Subterranean Jungle. I actually think it's incredible. I love the pop songs on it. I also love the fact that Outsider is on this, and Outsider is a hugely underrated Ramon song. So, yeah, anyway, love the record. Very happy to have another copy of it. Most Ramones fans will say this is one of the best covers that they did, album covers. Uh, I love it. I've never been to Central Park, but the next time I go, I'm definitely going to be going to this tunnel. Uh, obviously, I won't have a big, giant blue light with me, but who cares? Uh, I still got to go. I love this record. I think Richie's drumming on this record is fantastic. Uh, Richie is a great drummer, and I think that he should get way more props than what he does. Uh, in fact, he's my second favorite Ramones drummer after Tommy. Uh, sorry, Mark, you're third. Animal Boy, awesome record. Has my favorite Ramones song of all time, which is Bonzo Goes to Bitburg. My Brain is Hanging Upside Down. I think is one of the greatest songs ever written, probably top three and uh, it's on this record but this record also falls flat because of the fact that it has hair of the dog which is probably even though i like it it's still the worst ramon song i believe in my opinion i could be totally wrong i mean who cares really it's all good right but this also does have something to believe in on it which is a great song uh something body put something in my drink which is a fantastic song love this record halfway to sanity another great record that i think gets written off but i mean come on it opens with i want to live one of the greatest ramones tracks of all time it's fantastic. It's got a Debbie Harry appearance. I mean, how can you go wrong if Debbie Harry's singing on your record, right? It's got a real cool time. It's a fantastic single. And it's actually got the longest song I think the Ramones ever wrote, which is Bye Bye Baby. I'm pretty sure that is the longest song they ever did, which is like almost five minutes or something. I can't remember now. Four and a half minutes or something. Long for them. But yes. And possibly, I think this would be top three Ramones record for me. I know people are probably going to whinge and complain and say, no, you only the top, only the first four are the only good ones. You're all wrong. Brain Drain, I think, is fantastic. Not only has it got Pet Cemetery on it, which I think is probably, you know, Dee Dee Ramones' finest songwriting moment, but it's got I Believe in Miracles as an opener, and you can't go wrong with that. You've got Merry Christmas, I Don't Want to Fight Tonight at the end, which is a beautiful Joey song. There is just so much good on this record. I mean, I remember when I spoke to Marky about it, and he said he didn't like how the drums were so loud. But I think that's what makes this record sound so good is because the drumming is so loud and it just powers through each song. Such a great record, Brain Drain, hugely underrated. And I hope someday I get a t-shirt with this on it because uh, I don't have one and it's one of my favorite records by them. So anyway, the creme of the creme of the whole box set is probably this thing, which is a uh, like B-Sides rarities thing. There's no demos or anything like that on it, but it is like the B-Sides from the singles from that era. You know, it's cool to have all these in one place, you know, especially because some of those singles are hard to find now. This is a beautiful looking record. This is the only one that's actually colored vinyl, uh, which is surprising. I thought the whole thing might have been, it would have been cool if Too Tough to Die was on blue and, you know, Animal Boy was on yellow or something like that. But they, did, they I don't know, dropped the torch on that one or whatever it is. But this is beautiful. Like, have a look at this record. This is one of the sweetest looking you know, colored vinyl, splatter things I've ever seen. Uh, it is, it looks amazing. It really does. Uh, I can't wait to crank this one up. So to, after I finish this video, today will be a Ramones day and we'll do nothing but listen to Ramones records. Uh, this is a sticker sheet that comes with it. Uh, so it's got, you know, the logos of each of the records, which is pretty cool to have. Uh, I would, should probably stick all these all over my guitar, but I don't think there's any room on my guitars for them. But there we go. That was my Record Store Day wrap-up. I hope you get everything that you're after. Uh, have a great time out there supporting all the record stores. That's what it's all about. Getting people into physical stores again because, you know, nobody remembers the first MP3 they downloaded, but they'll definitely remember the first record they bought. I can't remember what the first MP3 I ever downloaded was. There you go. See? Pointless. But anyway, I hope that you can find the Ramones box set if you're after it. Uh, I... I think at the store I went to, there were only three copies. I didn't get the Taylor Swift 7-inch, which I actually did want. And I also didn't get the Muffs, Kim Shuttuck demos LP. I didn't find that. No, it seems like no stores in Melbourne got that record. So, And I think only one store or two stores I know of got a Taylor Swift single. 
they didn't have many copies, like one or two, and they were not Greville. So there we go, my friends. Uh, yeah, go buy all these records and have the best day ever.